Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video we're continuing Pythagoras Theorem and this time we're going to take a look at problem solving, specifically how to solve problems in both two dimensions and three dimensions using Pythagoras Theorem. So we're actually going to try to solve at least one problem in 2D and one problem in 3D. And let's start with question number eight from page 363. And this is an example of a two dimensional problem, even though it does look 3D, it's actually very, very two dimensional. And here we have to use Pythagoras theorem to solve this, this problem. So there's a person named Rohan, it's a pretty cool name, and he or she is building a rabbit hutch in the shape of equilateral tri triangular prism. So this right here is a um, equilateral triangular prism. And we only know one thing, we know that the height of this particular object is 80 centimeters. So this height right here is 80 centimeters. And we need to do two things. One is we need to find the, um, the sides right here, the length of these sides. And then we also need to find the area, the area of the ground covered by this tent thing or rabbit hutch thing. So basically this part right here. So we need to find the area and also the length of the site. So first things first, let's look at the length. And we're going to take a look at this from two dimensions first. So we need to draw an equilateral looking triangle. Okay, this looks triangular enough. And we know that uh, this area, this part right here is 80 centimeters. So we need to find the rest of the site. So let's just say that this part, this little part right here is going to become X which means that this whole length is 2x. So this right here is 2x because this part is divided into two equal parts. And so that means that this is 2x because it's an equilateral triangle and this is 2x as well. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at this right triangle right here. It has uh, three values and we can use these three values to try to solve Pythagoras um, theorem problem. So here we know that the square of two legs, which is in this case x squared plus 80 squared, will give us the square of hypotenuse, which is in this case 2x squared. Now don't forget you need to put this in brackets because we're going to be squaring the 2 as well, not just the x but also the 2. This gives us x squared plus 6400 equals to 4x squared. Now, if we combine the terms, if we actually move x to the other side, you're going to get 3x squared equals to 6400, because we just subtracted x squared from there. This gives us approximately 2133.33. In other words, x equals to square root of that, and x equals to approximately 46.2. 46.2, and this right here is the length x, which is this length right here. So one side then equals to double that, which means that one side or 2x equals to 46.2 multiplied by 2, which is 92.4. And so what we can do now is we can erase these values and rewrite this, rewrite this as 92.4. And that's the side right here. This is the side x right here. Uh, so this is 92.4. Now let's find, uh, uh, basically this is the answer to question A, 92.4. Let's find B now. Let's find the area covered by the ground. So we know this is an equilateral triangle. So this is 92.4 as well. This is 92.4. And this right here is 200 centimeters or 2 meters. So to find the area, what we do is we look at this from, from the top. And we have this rectangle thing with this part being 92.4 and this part being 200 centimeters. So don't forget to convert two meters to centimeters because, because if you just multiply this by two, you're not going to get the right answer. So area is basically this times this. And in other words, area equals to 18,480 centimeters squared. And you can then convert this to meters squared if you want. So to convert this to meters squared, you have to divide this by 10,000. So it can also be written as one point 84 meter square. So if you divide this by 10,000, you'll get answer in meter square. And this is the answer for B. So this is a two dimensional problem. Now let's try a three dimensional problem. 
And the three-dimensional problem we're going to do is this one. It's page uh, 371, number 12. Now, this is a pretty interesting problem because it does require some thinking before you can actually answer it. This is what it says. A square-based pyramid tent has a center pole uh, 1.6 meters high. So this right here is 1.6 meters high. And edge pole is 2.1 meters long. What is the maximum possible height of a camper who sleeps along the edge of the tent? So before you can even answer this question, you have to try to figure out what does this mean? Who sleeps along the edge of the tent? Now, some of you may think basically we need to find this, uh, this length right here. But that's not the edge of the tent. The edge of the tent is actually right here. This is the edge of the tent. And there's actually even a picture of two sleeping bags that show you how these campers want to sleep. So basically, in other words, we need to find this length right here. This is going to be our X. But our um, our pole is in the middle of a different plane. It's actually a plane that goes this way. It goes this way. So we can obviously find this length, but it's not going to help you with, help us with this length. So what do we do when we have a three-dimensional problem? Well, in th all three-dimensional problems with Pythagoras theorem, we need to use Pythagoras theorem twice. Basically, we're going to be using two different planes. First, plane A, where we find this value Y right here, and then plane B, where we find the value X. So let's actually try this, and uh, hopefully this will make more sense. Uh, so first step, let's find uh, the length the, basically this diagonal, the purple diagonal Y. And if we look at this tent from the side, what we'll see is something that looks like this. We have an isosceles triangle that has two different uh, sides that are 2.1 meters. And then we also have this little pole thing that is 1.6 meters. So now we just need to find this this line right here, which is basically the purple line on the picture on the left. And so this will be our Y. Or actually, let's just take the half of this as Y because it's easier to calculate this way. So half of this is Y and the whole thing is 2Y. So this whole thing is going to be 2Y. Uh, so yes, Y square, this is Pythagoras theorem, Y square plus 1.6 meters square has to equal to 2.1 square. Now we solve for y to get this. y squared plus 2.56 equals to 441. And that means that y approximately equals to 1.36 meters. So that's this part, this little part. And the entire thing, the entire y, basically entire line right here is double of this, which is, which means that this part right here, this whole diagonal line is going to be 272 meters. So this is 272. That's our first step. Step number two is to look from this, uh, look at this tent from the top. Basically, now we're looking at it from the top, and what we see is this. We see a square that has, I'm going to use the purple again, diagonal right here. This is our uh, 2y. This is basically what we found to be 2.72 meters. And this is where the sleeping bags are. This is two different people sleeping in here. Actually, it will go all the way to the edges because we're trying to find this now. This is our x. This whole thing is our X. Now, because this is a square-based pyramid, it actually says it right here, that it's a square-based pyramid, we know that these X's are all equal. This is all going to be X. And this diagonal is hypotenuse of this triangle, this uh, right triangle that we see right here. So in other words, here, X squared plus X squared is going to give us 2.72 squared. This will then give us 2x squared equals to approximately 7.4. And we now divide both sides by 2 to get x squared equals to approximately 3.7, which means that x equals to square root of that and it equals to about 1.92 and this is our final answer so this right here means that the maximum height of a camper that wants to sleep in this tent has to be 1.92 meters and that's if basically the person is really pushing it in other words this person would have to lie like edge to edge and this is 1.92 meters so that's the final answer. And this is how you do the three-dimensional problems. So for two-dimensional problems, you can usually do them in one step. But for three-dimensional problems, you're looking at two different planes and you're doing two separate 
Pythagoras theorem problems. Alright, hopefully this was clear and good luck to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and bye-bye.